the Bernina 880 and Bernina Embroidery Software 7 with Susan Fears. Well, the Bernina 880 has a fantastic feature called Stitch Designer, which allows you to design your own stitches. And that's a great place to augment the stitches that you already have on, on the Bernina 880. But with the Bernina Embroidery Software, you also can do a few more things. So you could design your own stitches on the Bernina uh, embroidery software for the 880. So you could have a larger screen, uh, spend a little bit more time working on uh, how you want everything to work out. But there's also stitches that come with the Bernina Software 7 that you don't have on your sewing machine, such as candle wicking. Um, so I'm going to show you how to design a stitch in the, Bernina, on the, in the Bernina embroidery software. And then we're going to take that to the Bernina 880, and, and I'll show you how to retrieve that. And the same way that I designed this stitch is also going to be the same process for how you might want to bring a candle wicking stitch over. So we will um, just be working with just one portion of this, but start thinking about what else you could do. So all you need to do this is to have a Bernina 880, because that's the only machine with the stitch designer. You'll need a USB stick, and you're going to need the Designer Plus Software 7. So let's take a look at how this works. So this is the Designer Plus software, and you do need Designer Plus because this is the one that creates stitches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open, use my freehand tool, and I'm just going to, I'm going to write my name because this is what I want to stitch out. So maybe that's a version, or maybe you have another version. And the fun thing about the freehand tool is you can just keep drawing until you find one that you like. And then when you're finished, you use the Select Object tool, and let's just pick your fa the, the one that looks the best. So I just tap on the ones I'm not keeping, and I'm left with this one. Now, the Stitch Designer will design stitches in 9mm wide so that you can sew with the regular 9mm foot, but you also have an unlimited size for sideways motion. So this could actually be a sideways motion stitch. It's quite large. This is a... Um, uh, 87.88 millimeters, and I'm going to, you know, wide, and it's 34 and some millimeters tall. So that's a big stitch, but that's not too big for the machine to stitch out as a sideways motion. Maybe you want this to be a 9 millimeter stitch. So one way to handle this is to have the text selected or your design, and your lock is activated so that when I change the size of the height, it will also proportionately change the size of the width. So I want this to be a 9 millimeter um, sewn out stitch. And let's just enlarge this a little bit. Okay, so now I have changed the height to 9 millimeters. It's a little bit larger. I can take that down a little bit if I need to. Um, and it's in the width is, you know, 23 and something. So right now I have my stitching. One other thing I want to do is I want to be sure the needle point starts at the beginning of the S and ends at the end of my letter. So with it selected, select Design and Auto Start and End. And let's select first stitch of the design for the starting needle position and the ending needle position as the last stitch of the design, which happened to be selected for us for this time. So I'll say OK. And now I have my design. Now if I wanted to stitch this out, if I think about how the uh, foot is going to handle this, you, you also want to rotate this 45 degrees so that it looks more like this. So now that you have your design, the next thing is to send it to a USB stick. So select the Write to Card Machine option. When the window comes up, select the USB stick, and then write the text or the, the stitch to your USB stick. And then you'll get a little message that says it's done. So you've done that. So now let's take the USB stick out of the computer, and let's plug the USB stick into the Bernina 880. How do you get that out? So in your, from your My Designs folder, or your, I'm sorry, personal, personal favorites, your, the Heart tab, in Sewing, select the folder with the arrow coming out of the folder. And if you will select the Transition, the Transition will show you the USB option. And here is our stitch that we drew. So now I could stitch this out. 
and I have, you see where my start point is, and you see where the end point is. I have actually sewn this out. It's wonderful. You're going to love doing this. So uh, what's, what's next to do is, you know, put on a 40C foot. It's what the foot is what the machine is recommending. It is a little bit greater than 9 point, than the 9, so it's, it, you will want to use your sideways motion foot, um, and it's going to stitch this out for you, and it's going to look beautiful. The other thing that you might consider is so that you don't get your, the name right after, you know, Susan, 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 is activate the information icon and, act, and say you only want one. That way it will sew Susan and stop, and then you're free to uh, tie it off and not. Now, because it's on a USB stick, or even because it's where it is on the screen, you also could take this into embroidery. So I go into embroidery, and if I go into my designs folder, here is my text here, and I could embroider this out. So this could be fun to do as a border uh, for something that you're that yeah that's personalized. You could do lots of these, or perhaps you are creating labels for yourself to put into items that you make. So you might fill the hoop with ribbon or fabric that will work for your tags and you just sew a bunch of these. So it's a great way to be able to create your own labels as well. So I hope you um, like working in the Bernina Embroidery software, the Designer Plus, creating stitches or bringing stitches into the Bernina 880 and stitching or embroidering them out. So have fun working with the Bernina 880 and the Designer Plus software.